If any man come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross and follow me. Um, we live <clears throat> out of one of two postures. We either live from a place of believing that there's a creator and he created all things. He created you and you aren't supposed to live for yourself. Or there's the other place where I lived the first 45 years of my life was... I live for me. Um, there's there's bondage in that. There's um, anxiety and fear and chaos because you're constantly living to justify your own life. You're trying to glorify yourself by what you do, and you can see the the fruit of that is look on any kind of social media and see what people do. It's like trying because they don't they don't have security from who they are and whose they are they're trying to root out their own identity so we're trying to glorify ourselves by what we put out there like Chris Rock said when when people first meet us they don't meet us they meet our representatives so we're putting something out there that is not what's really on the inside but when we truly understand the beauty and love of God that he loves us and desires the absolute best for us, that's the thing that sets the man or woman free. Then, then you don't have to justify yourself or glorify yourself because you're so rooted in your identity as a child of God. You know you're loved and accepted. We were cut off early on in the garden, uh, cut off from the love source. Um, we were meant to, to walk in harmony and shalom with God. We are made in the image of God. So we're meant to love God and love others, and yet we become lovers of self. And out of our own insecurity, we're always trying to justify and glorify ourselves. Look at a lot of social media. Look at all the stuff that's out there. People, are, people are, aren't really being transparent with the struggles that they have. Instead, they're, they're uh, just trying to go through the motions of life and put a positive spin on everything. But when we truly understand who we are and whose we are, it sets us free from that bondage of self. Um, and then, man, things change. I pray that you can experience the love of God today and see the beauty of everything around you. He created all things. He created you for a purpose. Somebody asked me last night, you know, I want to find my purpose. My purpose, when I submitted my life to God, became to become the fragrance of the love of God wherever I go. No matter where I am, it's the same. If I'm with the homeless down in Bakersfield, I'm loving them unconditionally and speaking the love of God into their life. If I'm in doing ministry in Fresno, it's the same thing. If I'm at the grocery store, it's the same thing. Wherever I go, I'm the same. Um, that's what our identity is as a child of God, as a disciple, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, pick up their cross and follow me, follow his ways. He, his life was absolutely beautiful and free and definitely was not insecure. He knew who he was and, and shared that love with, with everyone. He, he had compassion. He had so much love for others, you know, and we jack that up with religion a lot of times because we're we're putting our spin on it and we're, we're, our pride comes in. All these things that put walls up. Our walls need to come down. We just need to love unconditionally. God bless y'all.